as always. Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's pray. Our everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning. And Lord, we come just to praise you, to adore you, Father. And Lord, to listen unto your word, O King of our glory. I pray that the word of God will penetrate our hearts, O God. And the word will bring blessing unto us. The word will bring healing. The word will bring lifting. The word will bring correction unto us, O King of our glory. Lord, we pray that you set, you take a center role in this place, O King of our glory. I thank you, Father, for each and everyone in this place, O Father. And Lord, I cover them by the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray that it will be only your agenda, but not our agenda, King of our glory. Be thy exalted and be thy glorified. And it is in Jesus Christ's name we do believe and pray. Amen. We thank God. My topic today is your, your availability will count. And I would like us to read 9 verse 11. Give me that. Let me read. I also understand that there is not to the swift, nor the bad from neither yet bread, but yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chances are to them all. Bless the world. God has allowed time and chances to happen to them all. This includes me and you. And I believe God did this that we may not have excuses in life. So the most sure things that the, the most sure thing is we live unto God in all time. We live unto God, not unto ourselves but only unto God, so that we may not miss in the time and we may not miss in the chances, ch chances that he has availed unto us. So our availability in the things of God will help us not to miss on the time and chances that God has given unto us. So give me Luke 6, 12. Now it came Now it came to pass It came to pass in those days that he went out of the mountain to pray and continued to pray to God. Let's go down. And when it was day, he called his disciple to himself, and from them he chose twelve. We also named apostles. We continue. Simon, who he also named Peter, and drew Andrew, his brother James, and John, Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Silot. Let's continue. Judas, the son of James. Judas Iscariot, who also became a traitor. And he, he came down with them and stood in a level place with a crowd in, in, in a level place with a crowd of his disciples and great multitude of people from all Judea 
and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and be healed of their diseases. Let's continue. As well as those who were tormented with unclean spirit, and they were healed. Continue. And the whole multitude sought to touch him for power and went from him and healed them all. We praise the name of God. And I think most of our preaching will come from this place, from this word of God. And I want just to emphasize about our availability in the kingdom of God. And if you can just draw something from Luke 6, 13, if you can take me there. Take me back to 12, 6, 12. We can read and see. Now it came to pass to those days that he went out of the mountain to pray and continued all night to pray to God. So Jesus, Jesus had availed himself to pray unto God, to listen unto God. And as we go to 13, we want to see what happened after Jesus had finished praying. 13, let's go to 13. And when it, it was day, he called his disciple to himself. And from them he chose 12 who he also named apostles. So when Jesus came out of prayer, he found the disciples ready for him, available. So we, we noticed that this only was made possible for God to name his disciples because they availed themselves. Because they are there at, at that time. Maybe there were so many qualifications that led Jesus to choose them. But this aspect of them being available in that place made it possible for God to pick them. So we need to be available at all times in the things of God. We need to prepare our heart in all times. For, because God is always at work. And he can only most make possible his doing when we are available before him. So as we see, even as we go down, you realize that these disciples were so, were, were so many. Were so many, there are not few. There were many, but the 12 were chosen. And I believe if, there were, if the 12 were not there, the others could be chosen. So the availability made, made it possible for them to be picked. So Jesus is very keen on our availability more than ability in the kingdom of God. Jesus is always at work in our lives, but he cares only, it's, it can only be made possible when we are available, when we give ourselves fully to God. So give me James 4.10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. So, as we humble ourselves before the Lord, as we give ourselves to the Lord, then he will love to lift us up. He will love to, he, 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 he love to empower us. He will love to give us what we need for ourselves, what we need for the kingdom in this world. So let's humble ourselves. Let's prepare our hearts at all times. Let's be at the right time. Let's be at the right place at the right time when we are called upon. Because in that is only when God can manifest us himself fully in us, when God can deliver his people, can heal us when we are available. So give me Luke 16, 17 to 19. We see what availability brought to the multitude. 
Luke 6, 17 to 19. Hallelujah. As we continue, and he came down with them and stood on a level place with the crowd of his disciples and great multitude of people from all Judea and, Jer and Jerusalem, from the sea court of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and be healed all their diseases, as well as those who were tormented with unclean spirit, and they were healed. So as we can see, now the disciples have already been chosen. And as they continue to avail themselves, as they continue to walk with the Lord, they start to witness the great power of the Lord, the healing, the lifting of the Lord over his people. They started to, to see the greatness of God as they continue to avail themselves. So as we continue to avail ourselves to the things of God, we continue to, to see his great, greatest power, to see his work in place in his people. So availability is very key for our growth, for our healing, for our lifting. In all that we need, we need to be av available so that God can work in us. And in that we see what made it possible for the multitude to be, to be healed. The multitude were there. They were available. And through that, they received the healing. So my, my argument is that let us all time be available in the things of God, in his service. When we are called upon, let's be available so that we can continue to witness his greatness. So in all that we need in life, maybe you are looking for a job, maybe you are sick, you need to be healed, maybe there are so many things that you need in life, but it's up to you now to be ready before the Lord, to present yourself, to be always in his presence, waiting, for you never know that time, that an opportunity will arise for you to be blessed, an opportunity will arise for you to be lifted. So availability is very vital in this kingdom. So nothing can happen outside the presence of God. We need his presence at all time. So give me Matthew 15, 13 to 26. Matthew 15, 33 to 36. Then his disciples said to him, where could we get enough bread in the wilderness to fill such a great multitude? Let's go down. I want us to pick something from these verses. Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, seven and a few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. 36. And he took the seven loaves and the fish and gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciple. And the disciple gave to the multitude. So I want us to pick some things from there. If you can go just back to 1533 of the same scripture. Then his disciples said to him, where could we get enough bread in the wilderness to fill such a great multitude? So let's see the mind, the mind of these disciples. The, the disciples were only so impossibility. The people were so many. So the disciples, if we can realize, they, they, they believed in the ability of many bread to feed the, to feed the, to the multitude. They didn't see the possibility in what was available. They only see the possibility, the, the ability of if there were many breads, then everyone could get enough of it. 
But if you go to 30, 34, go down to 34, Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, seven and a few little fish. So Jesus believed on the availability of the seven and the few little, the seven bread and the, the few little fishes to feed the multitude. The multitude. So our God doesn't, that doesn't look on the, more on our ability, but he look more on the availability. What is there that is available that he can use to reach to his people? What is that that's available for him at that time? So we need to not to be intimidated. We need not to, to underrate ourselves. We need to see the possibility in our God through our availability. Because God will only empower us when we are available. No matter how small we are, we can still do great things. We can still reach to many people. He only needs you to reach to a thousand, to reach to millions. He only needs you. So don't be intimidated. Always see the possibility in our God through your availability. So the availability of the seven and the few little bread made it possible to feed the 4,000 people. So God is always working with those that are, with those that are available. God is always using that that is available. Be it in our giving, what you have, is what can make things turn around. It's what can make things come to pass. So let's always see the possibility in our availability. So always purpose to be at place of service right on time. Be present when, be present when called upon. Even, even if in some other times you may not have that ability. You know, sometimes you may think that I don't have ability. Maybe to sing well. Maybe to play instrument. Maybe to preach. Maybe to usher. You may underrate yourself. You may, know, you may see yourself not worthy. But that's not what God is looking for. God is only looking for you being available so that he can empower you to do great things in his kingdom. Give me Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this very thing, that who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So that little that God has begun in you. To see is not worth. Him alone is faithful to accomplish it. To make it come to greatness. To make it come to be a blessing to others. So him himself is faithful. With the little things that you're doing. With the little time that you're giving unto the work of his kingdom, him alone is faithful in the little things that we do, in the thing that you despise, in the thing that you don't see what is very interested in them. So as young people, let's build ourselves. Let's continue in that that God has begun in us. No matter how small it is, no matter how, before men, it may not look what. Let's continue in it. So don't be discouraged with the number. Be encouraged in the power that God can work in our lives. So as young people, I just encourage you to be available in the things of God. 
And I think I thank God for the little that he gave me. Although before God there is nothing that is literal. So I believe that I've been a blessing. And I thank God for you sitting before me. I welcome the minister to complete the service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.